Hey guys, welcome to this blog series. In this series, we are going to create a blog just by using Django and Django templates. The code link is given in the description, so you all can check that out. And in this part one video, we are going to do all the installations and configurations. So let's get started. We'll start by creating a virtual environment and I'll call it as .env. We'll activate the environment by doing source.env slash bin slash activate. Once that is done, let me clear it. We'll install Django. So it is pip install Django. And of course we are using Django 4.0 in this series. And we also need pillow. So we'll do that as well. Pip install pillow. Now all the installations are done. Let's start by creating the project. So it will be Django admin start project and I'll call this as src that is source. We'll navigate inside the src directory and we'll create our first app and I'll call it as blog. So it will be Django admin start app blog. Now that we have created our project, let's go and configure it. So we'll go inside source directory again inside source and we'll open the settings.py. We need to install our blog app that we just created inside the installed app. So we'll do that. It will be blog. And since we are going to use Django template, so we need to configure the template directory as well. So I'll call this as template dir and we are going to use base directory slash templates and front slash. We'll use this template dir variable inside templates inside dir and we need to do few more settings. So we'll scroll to the bottom of the page and and we'll declare two more variables. So it will be login underscore redirect underscore URL and this will be front slash and also logout underscore redirect underscore URL. So what this means that after login and after logout just send the users to this path that is blank. So our settings.py is ready. Let's go to the urls.py and add some paths. I'll start by giving first of all login path. So y'all can give any URL over here, but I'm going to give accounts slash login and front slash. This will take views dot login view and as view because these are the classes. So we have to give them as as view and I'll give the name as login. And after this, we are going to also do a configuration for sign out. So it is path and I'll give the same URL accounts slash logout. And it will be views dot logout view. And I'll call this as as view. Name will be I'll give this as name as logout and we need to put a comma over here here as well we'll put and we need to import these views so that is not from the Django and we'll do it over here so from Django dot contrib dot auth import views we need to remove this okay and it is django django.contrib.auth import views so this is correct now now our login and logout paths are ready now we also need to make configuration for static directory and media directory so let's do that for that i have to import the settings first so from django.conf import settings and again, this is Django. And I need to import static over here. So that will be from django.conf.urls.static import static. 
now we'll append it to the url pattern so it will be static settings dot static url and document root will be settings dot static u root so this was one and one more we need to do for media directory so again it will be static and settings dot media url and document underscore root will be settings dot media root I'll just format this quickly. And I just remembered that we haven't configured the media root and media URL in the settings.py. So let's quickly go back to the settings.py and we'll do that now. So it is media underscore root. This will be base directory front slash I'll call this as media then media URL that will be media now that our installations and configurations are done let's first of all migrate the app so python manage.py migrate and after migration let's uh, run the server and check it out python manage.py run server and we'll go to this url and yes there it is working correctly this error we are getting because we haven't configured anything on this path we'll go to the admin and check it out since the admin is working so i can safely say that our configuration is done properly so that's it guys for this video in the next one we are going to create the models and forms so see you in the next one.